for many years now, we've had the chance to work on succession and uh, help people realize that every pastor is an interim pastor. You know, we're all just doing work that's interim. Every school headmaster is an interim headmaster. Every president is an interim president. Every CEO is an interim CEO. Unless you are going to run your organization into the ground and close it, or unless you happen to be the head of your organization when Jesus returns, someone's coming in between now and the end of time. Someone's coming after you, and you are an interim leader. We've been saying that forever. We've written a book twice now, Next, Pastoral Succession That Works. We actually launched the second edition of it right in the middle of the pandemic, so you may not have heard about it. You'll want to check out 150 pages of new research around this. But one chapter that's not in there that I wish we could go add, what the pandemic did to succession. It'll be a short chapter. Here's what it would say. It sped succession up. The pandemic has caused people to say, I thought I had 10 more years left, but I don't now. Some are saying it because they're tired and they're realizing they're exhausted. Some are saying it because what used to be ministry has now shifted and changed into a whole other thing that's not the same kind of ministry. Still others are saying, you know, I've had a good run, I've done a good thing, but I'm not digitally native. And what used to be the job has now changed into a whole new kind of job and we need a whole new kind of leader. We're seeing it in educational institutions over and over and over. I'm talking to pastors who are saying, okay, I'm 60, I'm 61. How do I fast forward to 65? And we're coming in and we're modeling all kinds of paths forward that allow people to make for a good handoff at the right time. If you're feeling like you are all done and washed up, don't quit. Don't hang it up. But if you're feeling like a, your succession has been accelerated, you're not alone. It's a very normal thing, especially in this year. And I would say our counseling toward people considering succession is one of the fastest growing works we're doing right now. The pandemic has accelerated so many things. Digital streaming worship, the use of iPads by five-year-olds, the school that would have always been an ivory tower becoming a University of Phoenix as well. It's also accelerated succession. Hey, the sooner you admit I'm an interim leader, and the sooner you start planning for the day when you're no longer at your ministry, the better your organization's gonna be. Maybe you're a younger leader and you're like, I thought I'd be here for 15 years. I'm only gonna be here five to seven and now I need to move on to the next thing. Maybe you're nearing retirement and it's coming quicker than you thought. COVID has accelerated the succession conversation and we would love to help you in any way we can by counseling you. you know, sometimes uh, expertise is just born out of repetition. And I don't know your ministry or your organization as well as you do, but I do know that after a few thousand rep repetitions, we're learning what God does in the middle of successions, and we would love to help you. You know, in the U.S. track world, we very rarely win the 4 by 100 relay, and it's not because we don't have the fastest sprinters. We almost always do. It's because for whatever reason in the U.S., in track, we're horrible at that little zone where the baton gets passed from one runner to the next. And if you botch that, it doesn't matter how fast the previous or next runner was or is. You botch that zone, the whole thing falls apart. Maybe it's time to start a conversation about what your succession could look like, whether it's 10 years away or one or two. I'm guessing it's sooner than it was before this pandemic. Give us a call. Let us know how we can help you. It'd be an honor to work with you and walk alongside you.